Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 31st. January's already gone. It's a cold day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, it's like 20 degrees right now. Uh, it's got a big winter storm coming in. It's sweeping across from the west, so I think most folks are going to get something out of the storm before it gets uh, here. Uh, they're saying maybe uh, somewhere between 6 and 16 inches of snow. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Not, not the, uh, the worst kind of storm we've ever had, but, you know, enough that i got to get out there and shovel and snow below and such. And enough that the stores were insane yesterday because my wife sends me grocery shopping, you know, Saturday before a storm. Uh, not because we're crazy milk and bread and toilet paper people uh just but we needed stuff you know it, it wasn't none of, none of those no we did get some bread we did get some bread but we got plenty of everything else um but you know we just needed stuff there's no point in going on about the the crazed shoppers before a snowstorm uh if you've ever ever lived in an area where there's any amount of snow and i lived in atlanta for goodness sakes for for six years and they used to do it there uh you know atlanta you'd get you'd get snow in the morning or overnight and it would be gone by noon anyway i'm going to be talking a bit about this pipe you might recognize it it is a J muton pipe and it is very special to me and i am going to light this up with some Poplar Camp from Cornell and Deal. Nice Virginia Perique. I may have put extra Perique into this, I can't remember. I jarred this up back in August. And uh, I just wanted something a little different this morning. And Straight Virginia Creek fits the bill. So, you might recognize this pipe. Uh, this pipe is identical to a pipe that my friend Couch, the uh, the host of the Dunning Kruger show, had Jason make for him. And I'll link below to the to the story of that pipe that that Couch put up. It's a very special pipe to him. Uh, he he had a commission for a particular. I'll just leave it at that. And I watched this video when, when he revealed the pipe, and I thought, man, I just, there's something about that pipe. I just really like it. You know, he's he's got this cool turquoise inlay. And, you know, not only that, but just the, the shape. Uh, it's reminiscent of a 7LE shape, but it's Jason's take on it. And it it's just, a, I just really like this pipe. And it just feels so good in your hand. And it's one of these pipes that makes you want to to sip. I, I that sounds a little silly, but for some reason I I can clench it without any trouble. But for some reason I'm more comfortable holding this one in my hand, and that's great for some blends like like Virginia Perique's. So I saw Couch showing off this pipe. Well, he wasn't showing it off; he was introducing it to us. And I thought, oh man, I really would like to ask Jason to make me one like that but this is you know it's a special pipe and if you watch Couch's video you'll, you'll understand so I thought man that's I, I I'm not going to do that because this is something special to, to my buddy Rick and he's he's going to want to um you know have that as something special anyway um Rick gets in touch with me a couple weeks ago, and he says, you know, you're not going to believe what happened. By the way, I, I didn't even say anything to him other than beautiful pipes. So Jason made the pipe for him and shipped it, and it never turned up, because you know how good the United States Postal Service is now. Now, Jason, uh, Jay Mouton, and... If you don't have a J Mouton pipe, you should. That's all I'm going to say. Being the you know outstanding gentleman that he is, went ahead and made him another one, identical. 
or as identical as two pipes can be. And put that in the mail. And Couch did indeed get that one, and he was quite happy. And he made his video, and I coveted it. <laughs> and a couple of days later, the first one arrived. So, you know, as you would predict, as soon as you get the second one, the, the first one turns up finally. After a very long delay, you know, it wasn't like he was impatient or anything. He, he gave the Postal Service time. It appeared that this was. Anyway, he now had two pipes, and he didn't need two pipes, and he got in touch with me, and I said, you know, he asked me if, if I had any ideas about what he could do with it, and I said, you're not going to believe this, but I really, really wanted that pipe when I saw it. So we worked it out, so I paid Jason for the second pipe, so Jason's happy. Rick sent me the pipe, so now Rick only has one, and he's happy, and I got this, and I'm happy. So everybody's happy, and it is a wonderful pipe. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful to both Jason and Rick for the opportunity to own this pipe. And I, I would be negligent if I didn't point this out, since I'm talking about Jay Mouton. He is having an auction today. Uh, it's 3 p.m. Central. I got that wrong in my Wednesday video. The 3 p.m. Central, which is, what is that, 4 p.m. Eastern. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. So at 3 p.m. Central time, I know that's right. Uh, he's doing a live auction of, of these four pipes that he made, and they're they're fantastic looking pipes. The the EDC pipes that he makes are just gorgeous little pokers with, with the stainless steel tubing shanks. Uh, really, really gorgeous pipes. And then he's got a free hand that's just absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to be watching it. Uh, I might be bidding on it. I don't know. I mean, I just recently got this, and I said I wasn't going to buy any pipes for six months. So. We'll see. <laughs> But if you want an opportunity to, to own a Jay Mouton, and you should want to own a Jay Mouton, it's a great uh, great cause. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I said what the money's for. He's auctioning them off for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I should have started off with that. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it, so all the money that's it, made today, this Sunday, is going directly to St. Jude. And if you're not familiar with them, they're a wonderful children's hospital charity. Uh, they, they take any child. Uh, regardless of the parent's ability to pay uh, and they take excellent care of uh, who have you know in many cases very significant illnesses and uh, they've really done a great deal childhood cancer so it's a it's a charity that's been near and dear to my heart for a long time it was my grandfather's favorite charity uh, and you know, I, I remember he, you know, we, we weren't an incredibly wealthy family by any stretch, but he would always make a, a monthly donation to St. Jude. Um, so, it's an opportunity to make a donation to a great charity. Oh, this, this poplar camp is nice. I remember now, I did not add Perique to this. I added Perique to Yorktown because Cornell and Deal says that Poplar Camp, Poplar Camp is Yorktown plus Perique. So I thought, well, I'll just make my own. And it was fantastic. And then I got this and tried, you know, the, the Cornell and Deal version. And it's very, very good. It has something else in it, though. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it has something else in it. It tastes different from my adding Perique to uh, Yorktown. Um, but it, it's it's a note that I I can't place. I remember when I when I first smoked the Poplar Camp, I couldn't place it. That was back in August, and I thought I would just jar this up for a while and see if see if that kind of mellowed with. With time but it's it's still there it's not bad it's not in any way off-putting it's just different from from 
from what I would expect from a straight Virginia Perique. So it's something about the Perique that is in Poplar Camp that's a little bit different to me. Maybe just a little bit sharper. Yeah, not, nothing bad about it, though. Uh, so, we had a great live stream on Friday. I really enjoyed chatting with uh, with everyone. It was, a, it was a rough couple of days, you know, but we we got through it together. And uh, yeah, I think our buddy John would have been proud of us. That's that's all I can say. The week ahead is, uh, I'm, I'm taking some vacation time. So I got to the last two weeks in December last year and just couldn't use the vacation time that I had. I had accumulated so much over the year. And I thought, well, I'm not going to do that this year. Make sure that I take some long weekends and you know, spread, spread it out. And I'll still have a big block at the end of the year, but try to be better about this. So I'm taking off Thursday and Friday of this week. <clears throat> I'm not doing a live stream on Friday night. I said this on the live stream. Uh, if anybody wants to, to use that slot this coming Friday, just drop me an email and I'd be happy to, uh, to promote it for you. Uh, you know, first come, first serve, so I'm not going to... I can't promote 10 people <laughs> if you all want to do live streams, but, you know, if you just want to, uh, if you if you normally live stream in another time slot and you want to do that, might be a good way to reach a different audience, you know, just use that time slot, kind of like a guest host kind of thing. But otherwise, enjoy the Friday I'm with your friends and family close to you, and we'll be back the next Friday. My plans include, well, to be honest, uh, I mean, a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of what I'm doing anyway, but, but just not worrying about work. Um, I'll probably be spending a lot of time down here. I know my wife wants to take a drive. It's one of her, oh, we should take a drive. I, it's funny. I I think a lot of guys are like this. I like to have a purpose when I leave the house. I like to have a purpose when I go for a drive. It's perfectly fine to say the purpose is let's go to that park and then turn around and come back home. Or go to that park, walk around for a little bit, and then turn around and come back home. You know, it doesn't have to be productive. It just has to be a point. But to just get in the car and say, let's go for a drive. It's a nice day. I don't know what that means. Can I just circle the block for an hour? Or do I have to... This is one of those videos that I hope my wife doesn't watch. <laughs> no, she's She actually hasn't watched any videos in a long time. Um, She does, however, because my Instagram feed is linked to Facebook, she does see everything I post on Instagram. So I have to be careful. Uh, there's been a few times where I've been gloating over a large tobacco purchase that she didn't know I had made. <laughs> and I thought I got away with it because I... Knock the box down here when she wasn't looking. Yeah. Not, not very smart of me. 
but I can turn off the cross posting. So if I want to just post to Instagram, she'll never see it. Because she doesn't she doesn't go on Instagram. Not that I'm really hiding anything from her. I mean, we guys just this playful teasing back and forth. Uh, we both enjoy. My goodness, Rick, I really appreciate you sharing this with me. And if you watched the live stream on Friday, you would have seen that uh, Rick also, when he mailed this to me, included another pipe, a beautiful Savinelli. Uh, it, it's upstairs, so I can't show it to you right now. Uh, but you'll be seeing a lot more of it. It's a wonderful pipe. That couch is a, is a heck of a nice guy. So if you're not watching the Dudding Kruger show, you should. He's a heck of a nice guy with a really good sense of humor. Very quirky sense of humor that I enjoy. He's the father of my goddaughter, Ilva. He loves it when I use this mug. But yes, I'll, I'll I'll link below to Couch's video on his uh, didn't say his version of his pipe. This is this is the we'll call this the copy. And of course, uh, Jason Mutan. Uh, I'll link to one of his videos for the auction. Uh, and remember today, 3 p.m. Central. Uh, I just want to, I'm going to watch it because I want to see the pipes. <laughs> uh, they're, they're just gorgeous pipes. But I will I will bid if I can. I just be careful because, like I said, I, I have a pipe budget that I've already blown for this year. But, hey, it's going to be February any minute now. So about one month now. All right, guys, I've rugged this on long enough with, without much to say. I'll probably be back on Wednesday uh, with the video, and then I'll be probably quiet until next Sunday. So you all have a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again soon. Bye now.